and similarly to the Freebirds of the 1980s, when they defend the tag team titles, any two of the three can get into the ring and throw the opponents off. They don't know which two they're going to get, but tonight it's the original members, Leah Danucci, and they have their hands full, believe me, with a man you know very well. Oh, do I. J.B. Trask and his tag partner, Johnny Park. This is going to be a very difficult one for me to pick because I like both teams very much. You see the strength of these two men, but you see the demented side of the Lost Souls. This and is going to be an excellent match. The Lost Souls, ladies and gentlemen, are as about mor as morose and as depressing and as somber a tag team combination outside of the ring as they are inside. Absolutely. Pain does not bother them, which is their strongest point. They enjoy it. And we're going to take a look at them right now. Grasket Park, the Lost Souls. Park coming in all the way from Australia. J.B. Grasket Park from Hollywood, California. The Brentwood section of California. They have gotten the promoter's attention. We heard J.B. Grasket a little bit earlier on saying it took a while. We had to break some bones. We had to bust some teeth. Finally, the promoters are standing up and taking notice. They have the chance of a lifetime here tonight. They certainly do. It's been a wonderful experience watching these two men train together and gel as a solid tag team. And now tonight, they get their first shot at the tag team championship. They're going to make it count for sure. Well, Johnny made it very clear he did not travel halfway across the world literally go home empty-handed coming all the way in from australia he's been in this country on and off for the better part of the last five or six years he brought he came into professional wrestling with the now defunct northern premier wrestling association he was a clean-cut young man followed the book to the letter somewhere along the line something went haywire he locked up with J.B. Grass, a notorious rule breaker, as tough as they come. He really doesn't care about the rules. You know what, Plumtree, we got to change Johnny Park. Oh, I love the transition. Oh, there they go. I love the transition that Johnny Parks has taken. He is lethal out there. Oh. You know, if you are the fans here, oh, what a drop kick right to the jaw of Danucci over the top of the lawn. Over the top goes Travis, and now he's going for a ride to the outside. I started to say, if you're fans of Steel Domain Wrestling, Twin Cities ringside, it has to be difficult to pick the team you want to cheer for. Neither of these tag teams is exactly popular with the fans, but at this juncture, it appears that the crowd is aligning themselves with the lost goal. But neither team cares if they're popular with the fans. They know that their job in there is to wrestle for the gold. And I watched Parks come halfway across the world here. He's a household name in Australia. He is applying his wares here, teaming up with J.B. Trask, who I believe is one of the most underrated wrestlers throughout the Midwest, has never gotten his due. He's a fine mat technician, but you overlooked that. Time and time again, you overlook that. Never have overlooked it yet. Once have. again, you have no idea what you're talking yes, about. You're you talking have. from a very biased standpoint. You, of course, have a history with J.B. Kraft. Yes, I do. You managed him for a long, long time until finally he got tired of you. But as I, everybody you know what? eventually I does. I have watched every single day that J.B. and I were ever teamed up together in. Oh, 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 oh. man. There's a field goal. Travis is singing the night. Wow. You started to say, you started to explain how dress dumped you like yesterday's newspaper. I... You have a sick way of putting a spin on everything, don't you? You can just make everything sound so anti plum tree. That's Johnny Parks in the ring right now. Casey Travis with the forearm shot. Catches it right across the sternum. Johnny Parks not the biggest guy in the world. In the ring at about 215. 220 pounds, but he is like a pit bull. He is like an absolute rabid animal in there. And the tag team, along with J.B. Trask, who would do anything to win a match, it spells devastation. Let's get back to something here, Nitz. 
Seven years. Seven years. No one has put Plum Tree Enterprises in the business, have they? What was have the they, missed? Out of what? Out, out of business. Out of out of business. business. Where's the plot? Nobody's put us out of business. We're still in the shop. Whatever. Look at this. They all know how to play each other. They play each other so well. You know, I brought that to the attention of the viewing public many, many times. The look, parts and trash, is by design. They dress alike, they look alike, the hairstyles, the facial expressions. They live alike. It is all to confuse the officials. Oh, there's that trio of in the corner. They confuse the officials many, many times. They will come into the ring without a tag. If the referee is not paying close attention, they have gotten by with many, many times. They truly understand what tag team wrestling is all about. They're keeping the fresh man in the ring, and they consistently drive their opponents down. Like that. Right there. Yes, Johnny. Lost Souls truly appear to be a precision combination in that ring right now. They have effectively cut off the ring. Tanuki has seen very little in the way of action in this one, spending his time instead going with the fans at ringside as a used car salesman would do. No you way. know, I delight in this match. Do you know why? I've managed each and every one of these individuals at some time. I delight because I love them. And I delight because I love to watch them bashing the crap out of each other. I, I used the word crap. I said crap. Did you hear that? I would like to point out that all four of the individuals that you just attempted to put yourself over with have all fired you. Amazing move another. by Johnny. Amazing somersault off the ropes. You're not calling the action. Fired. You're not. There's a tag. And now we're seeing the, uh, the used car salesman. Tony Danucci, the man with the gift of gab in that ring. Used car salesman. Yeah, his commercial airs every minute and a half. Oh, over the top and a nice maneuver. By Danucci, a former Mr. Minnesota competitor. The leg. He drives much plainer automobiles than that station wagon you used to tool around in. Loading the mattress in the back. Hauling Bucky off the bridge. Pay bond to an event or two over the years too, didn't we? That's right. We got all the equipment in there too. Irish whip. Off. Oh, what? Oh, oh. good God! Oh. Off he had it. Oh, Cody Danucci with a thunderous clothesline, and that could send Mr. Parks back to Melbourne. Oh, he just manages to roll the shoulder. Sometimes I am just bewildered that these men can continue on can get up from such punishment, from such a pounding, and I love it. You know, John Parks is related to Reggie Parks, a former competitor, former champion in his own right in professional wrestling. Matter of fact, I'll bet you Reggie designed those championship belts that they're wearing. He the most certainly did as well as the two other belts, the television title, the Steel Domain heavyweight belt, Reggie Parks, the premier belt maker in America, a good close friend of mine. On the outside of the ring now, Danucci once again putting the boots to Johnny Parks, who has taken a pounding now. Danucci tosses the back into the ring to Travis Lee, and now the tag team champions are taking over. They are methodical. When they smell blood, when they sense the tide of battle is turning, they are relentless. But now Parks trying to fire back. Oh, not enough. Not enough left in the tank. There is so much grit and determination in this matchup. Just feel it. The crowd truly doesn't know who to cheer for. It's okay. They're both outstanding teams. Danucci. Back and parts into the corner right above our microphone. Oh, he them. oh the dreaded chop. Oh, there's that oh. open-handed chop right to the sternum. That's you know the, the, locker, hand the locker room is watching this just grimacing. Oh. They all know what that feels like. Oh, wait a second now. Oh. Parks reverses it, and he hammers at Danucci. There's a reverse knife edge. I told you, Parks is rapid. All the way across the ring. Oh, nobody home. He telegraphed it, and Danucci was able to sidestep the onrushing Johnny Parks. That's what I think about Steel Domain Wrestling. They let everybody have an opportunity here. The top of the business world to the low-life, dark, brooding souls, the lost souls. There is a place for everybody here at Steel Domain, even you. 
equal they, opportunity. They even let the nitwits of the world in, even you. They let creme de la creme into this oh, building. Oh, shut the hell I up. Am. Move over, Travis, Sissel lead Travis. out the tasty one, the tasty one, tasty Travis, tasty Travis, I'm getting tongue-tied here. You won. Someday I'll tell you a story about how he got that name. I don't want to know. Actually, it started in Nebraska. Don't tell me. He was driving over to the road, and this woman was coming towards the van. Oh, well, you shut up. And no, it was not Buck's van either. Have you seen that thing? I saw it. R&R &R Wrestling. He spray-painted it right on there. He ran out of room. Ran out of letters. He ran out of room, all right. Oh, I believe it said R&R &R Red, and that was but yes. Back to the action in the ring now. And now the tag team champions certainly asserting themselves. Johnny Parks has been on the receiving end of 90% of the punishment in this matchup. Zanucci decided discretion the better part of Valor went for that slam off the ropes. But as I said, from the top of the match, the Lost Souls don't care about pain. They can take it, and they like it. They thrive on it. It's what drives them. Cross body. Referee Souls is out of position, and there's a tag. And now the superior rail out of Los Angeles. Hips ring, and J.B. Tresk is on fire. Scoop slam. Down goes Travis Lee. Scoop slam. Down goes Danucci. There's a close line, and Trask is a one-man wrecking crew in that ring right now. That's the J.B. Trask of days of old that I know and love. He's on fire. You light a fire on Trask, and he is so damn oh. tough. There's that leg drop right across the chest. You know how desperately J.B. Trask wants to taste gold. He was out of action for about two years. He's been on a comeback. He's been unstoppable. And boy, would it top things off to leave the ring with the belt tonight. He was always living at John Lynn Price for oh. the way she handled things with his championships in the past. Now he's got a clear shot at the tag team gold. Watch this maneuver now. Oh, that double team by the Lost Souls. That gold to get of the canvas. Travis. Oh, wait a second now. Eric Priest. Eric Priest, the underwear model, the third member of Flex Appeal, entered the ring. Oh, for God's sakes, this one's over. This one's a disqualification, and it is over. We talked about Eric Priest, the third member of Flex Appeal. He brought that kendo stick into the ring, and once again, Flex Appeal did what they had to do to sneak away with the title. It's a smart strategy. These are smart businessmen who know how to get what they want so much they have the tag team goal the lost souls ladies and gentlemen get the victory but unfortunately there is no title change as a result of the disqualification you have to believe even you would have to admit that eric priest had one thing and one thing in mind in interjecting himself into the matchup that was to save the title for flex appeal absolutely he did his job for compatriots and he did it well. Flex the field, the champion, Lost Souls, who knows? Maybe one more shot. Oh, they better get one more shot. Ladies and gentlemen, we're coming back to the West St. Paul Armory. More great action still to come. What's City's ringside.